In this tutorial, we're going to look at a FET simulation called Forces in Motion. And in particular, we're going to examine a tug of war situation and look at the forces involved and start getting used to some of the terminology that we're going to encounter in this unit. I think you'll find a lot of these answers are very intuitive and you probably innately have a pretty good feel for what's going to happen as we set up the situations that we're going to describe shortly. Now, as far as the tutorial is concerned, you see you have a rope on either side with four knots. That represents four different positions for people to grab onto the rope and pull either to the right if they're on the right hand side or the left on the left hand side. You also see a series of men down below, um, small all the way up to large, representing small to large force capabilities. So let's start with a basic situation where we put two people of equal size on either side of the rope. And you see right away it labels. There's a force acting to the right, a medium-sized arrow represents that force, and a force acting to the left. These arrows are vector quantities. So the longer the arrow, the bigger the force. In fact, if I get rid of this little blue guy and put a big blue guy, you see the arrow gets larger because he's capable of a bigger force. Now let's take it back to our original situation and see what happens. So we're going to remove the big guy and put down the little guy. Now I assume most of you will be able to predict what's going to happen when I click go. If we have equal people on either side of the rope, both exerting the same force, when I click go, they both pull and nothing happens. We say in this situation the forces are balanced. The left force is exactly equal to the right force. Now because forces are vectors, I would also say that the right force is positive and the left force is negative. And when I add up those two forces, I get a sum of zero. So the sum of the forces is equal to zero and in that case we see that the object does not move. Now let's pause again and let's add another guy on this side, a little guy. Now right away we see that the right force is now a little bit bigger and of course now the sum of the forces is to the right, a tiny arrow to the right. We'll figure out how we get that value in a second. Now when I hit go we see that the right hand side is winning and the cart starts to accelerate towards the right. We can even look at some values if I click on this little box up on the upper right. We see that the right force adds up to 150 newtons and the left force is 100 newtons. Clearly if the right force is 150 then we, we can imagine that this big guy here is exerting 100 newtons of force just like this other guy on the left and the little guy is adding an additional 50. So the sum of the forces is weighted towards the right, so our sum ends up becoming 50 newtons, 150 newtons minus 100. We call this value the net force. So in this case, we have a net force to the right, the object will accelerate to the right. So let's summarize so far. If you have an unbalanced force, meaning the sum of the forces is anything but zero, the object will accelerate in that direction. If the forces are balanced, then the object will not accelerate. And we've seen this scenario where we have people on either side that are equal and opposite, like what I'm showing you here, and the net force is zero, and when I hit go, nothing happens. But there is one more scenario that you have to be aware of. So I'm going to hit reset, and we're going to try something. Let's place this medium guy once again on the rope on the right. So right now we have an unbalanced force acting towards the right. It should accelerate to the right. And when I hit go, lo and behold it will. But now I'm going to add a guy to the left. Notice my sum of my forces immediately goes to zero, but the object keeps moving. So there's two scenarios. If the sum of the forces is zero, either A, it won't move at all, everything's balanced, or B, it will no longer accelerate. It'll just move to the right with a constant velocity. And you have to keep that in mind when you're doing dynamics. Now again, we call the sum of the forces the net force. 